Welcome to the Draw My Life of the Beatles. In the early 1960s, some young musicians from Liverpool decided to get together to create some of the greatest tunes of all time. A few years earlier, John Lennon, one of the band members, they formed a band called the Quarrymen with his friend Pete Chun. And then Paul McCartney joined, and then George Harrison. They needed a bass player, so Stuart Sutcliffe would also join the group. The band would be joined by one more member to play the drums. Pete Vest. The name of the group was not convincing, so it would go through variations until 1960, when the Beatles were born. The Beatles would start performing in a pub in Liverpool, the Cavern, plus they would sign to play in Hamburg, Germany. However, things did not go too well. George Harrison was deported from the country for being a minor, and the same thing happened with Paul and Pete, even though for them it was for burning a condom to light up a room. What rascals? During a performance in Hamburg, Stuart Sutcliffe would fall in love with who would later be the Beatles, official photographer. Astro Kitcher, they would start to go out, something that eventually distanced him from the boys, to the point of leaving the group in 1961. He moved with her to Hamburg, and gave his bass to Paul McCartney. But one day, after falling down the stairs at home, he began to suffer from headaches, that soon after resulted in a stroke that ended his life. They needed a manager, and they found Brian Epstein. He changed their image, and promised to get them a contract. And although in the beginning, they clashed with the refusals of some record companies, they would soon convince George Martin, an EMI producer who would be instrumental in their work. The first thing he told them was that they should change their drums. This way the Beatles would get rid of the best. Leaving a new vacancy, one Richard Starkey was chosen to be the new drummer. Everyone would know him as Ringo Starr. In this way, the group was closed off with for definitive members. John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr. In 1962, they would release their first single, Love Me Do, which was a hit in the UK. Although, according to the story, it was their manager who personally bought 10,000 copies. They would put the single at the top of the charts. Months later, they would release Please Please Me, From Me To You, and she loves you. Tunes that would enter the charts and begin to enshrine them in the United Kingdom. Shortly after that, in 1964, the Beatles came to the United States. Their songs were at the top of the charts. The Beatles became pioneers, touring the country for the first time, and released a hard day's night. The following year would bring help and rubber soul to albums that were a huge success and preceded Revolver which had a well-known success, Little Submarine. 1967 was a turning point. Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band came out. One of their most revolutionary albums, and also because all you need is love, was the first satellite broadcast in history. And finally because of the death of Brian Epstein. It was the beginning of the end of the Beatles. But then came other works and of course, Let It Be. But the end was near. In 1970, after eight years of great successes, the Beatles put an end to their joint career by recording their last studio album. Abby wrote, the band that had changed the history of music said goodbye. The songs will remain unchanged in time. The legend of the Beatles is eternal. And this has been the drama life of the Beatles. If you liked it, give it a like. Share it and comment on what you want our next drama life to be.